I am going to start recording to tape like I did when I was 16. A lot of you guys, if you follow this channel, you know that I've got a pretty nice recording studio that's fully booked and set up and I've got a lot of nice gear, but I miss recording to tape. Not an 8-track, a single tape with a single mic in the room. I miss that and I miss doing it in a basement, which is where I am right now. And I'll show you my setup and it's not a lot, I'll tell you that much. So I just picked this bad boy up on Amazon. Unfortunately, I hate Amazon, but it was the only place I could find one that was easy and cheap. And I got the extra mic for the outside. And it's exactly the sort of thing I used when I was 16 in high school. And I would just put the record button on and I would play and I would learn and I would record. And I look back at those tapes like they're some of the best ones. And again, I can record stuff in the studio, but this is way more fun. So I've got my original Fender box amp that I had when I was 16 right here. And this little Fender reverb amp, little baby amp. I think actually cruises pretty good. And then I've got three of my guitars here in the basement that I'll be playing. So I've got my Yamaha acoustic, I've got my Les Paul, and I've got my, my uh, Paul Reed Smith. That's not a high-end PRS, but it's, you know, it's pretty good actually for the money. That was $590 or so when I got it, and it's a standard. And then the Les Paul, Gibson Les Paul is money, money. And then this Yamaha for the money, it's a concert cutout Yamaha. And this thing is great. Honestly, it plays freaking awesome. The action's great. So anyways, I've got these, the little tape recorder and the amp. And it's like bringing me back to a time that I miss so much. Come to the basement, press record, start laying down some music. And then I've got a tape digitizer that I bought for another project that I can basically take you know, that tape, digitize it, put it in Pro Tools, and then I'll do a light mix, not much, and clean it up a little bit, put some compression on there. And as long as I space out that mic closer to myself for the vocals uh, than the actual amp, I'll get the sound that I used to have back in the day. And I just miss that. I miss that simplicity. And man, look, we got another tape player right there. <laughs> but man, just going to a basement, playing some music, no interruption on a tape. So anyways, I'll be putting out some music using this and you guys might be like, what the heck are you thinking? Uh, but I'm gonna do it and it's gonna be good stuff. Honestly, I feel like the stuff I did in high school, although I wasn't as good then, um, I've got a lot more skill now, but I can use this same old archaic process and put out some really good stuff and I just miss doing that. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my other video. I'll put it at the end for the actual recording studio. It's a lot of good stuff there. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And check out my music on Spotify, Apple Music. It's under Dempsey. You'll see it out there. Same logo as this channel. All the letters have a dot between them. And I've got some new music that I did in the studio. That's more 90s alternative rock that you might dig. I've got some old stuff that I recorded in my apartment in 2007 in Portland, Maine. That was really rough stuff. That's similar to what I'm going to be doing with this. Uh, and I'll put out some acoustic and crazy stuff through this tape player. So anyways, thanks again for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this inspires somebody else to get out there and start working off a tape. Yes.